Some Android versions are better, some Android versions are just good, let's be honest. And so today, if you just want to stick on the Android version that you are using, or maybe you want to pause for a little, then continue the updates later on, or maybe you just want to disable them completely, then this video is for you. This is how you are going to do. Open this tool, click on services, then click on disable update. Now you are good to go. That's how easily you can do it. You can also use another tool which is called TFT Unlock Tool. Make sure USB debugging is enabled on your device. Then go and select your brand, then click on function. Then click on a DB disable OTA updates. This is going to disable updates from your device. And from here you are not going to update anymore. You are no longer going to receive more updates but you can enable later on if you want to. Another tool is this one unlock tool on which you will go and click on Samsung, then function, then click on disable OTA updates. This will disable your phone's updates. Now since you have already disabled the update, please know that you are not going to get more security patches and you are not going to get more Android versions, but still you can update your phone via Odin. That will still work, you don't have to worry about updating the phone if you want to. But updating with Odin that comes with the clearing of all data that was stored on your phone. Now there's another method that I am going to show you. Once you open this tool, it will first check if you are using the latest version, then it will open, it's completely free, you don't need to dig your pocket. Now once you open the tool, click on Android, then under the section of Android you will find multiple choices, and from these multiple choices which among them is going to be option to disable your phone's updates, and when you click on disable enable. It is going to give you options to either enable software updates or disable software updates. It doesn't matter which tool you use, the tool can re-enable disabled software update. This tool will just enable software update whenever you want to. So even if you disabled it manually, you could still enable it. Since we have disabled software updates, now let me enable and show you this live demo. What I am going to do is, I am going to disable again. I have enabled, then I am going to disable, okay, since we have disabled using this tool. What I am going to do is, I am going to show you how you can enable using another tool or disable using another tool completely. Okay, since we are going to click on disable, this is another tool, a DB app control. Then as you can see, the disabled apps are software updates. What if you go to uninstall, then make sure to delete cache and data, then uninstall, okay, it's important to keep data backed up, okay, and just like that we have uninstalled completely, is it possible to enable using another tool, okay? Give it a try and comment down below and give me insights on how it went. And don't forget to subscribe for more fixes and tips just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.